Hi, this is Randy from Nerd Out. Just giving you a little update on some new things that have come through the door or things I just wanted to point out because I can. Uh, first things first, uh, looks like we got a restock of the child, Baby Yoda, however you would like to call him. But uh, I'd, one thing I did notice is uh, this new stock I just got in. There's the new one. And then I grabbed one of my old ones that I had. And as you can see, there is a variant to them, to those variant collectors. If you look at the scarf right there, and that one is like a lighter color, and that one's darker. This is the newer one. I don't know that I think one is better than the other, but I just wanted to point that out. Uh, interesting. In addition to that, I got in this new Iron Man electronic helmet. This thing's pretty awesome. I hear good things about these Marvel Legends helmets. Now, this is scaled to be worn by, I believe, a child and an adult. Uh, I don't have one opened up to check, which I really would like to. Um, I think it would probably fit most heads, unless you got like a ginormous head. Uh, then you might have a problem. Uh, but normal head people, you're good to go. Uh, also, I got in a couple of the Thundercat Ultimates by Super 7. Uh, I've been waiting a long time for these. Uh, the only ones I did get for the first series is lion and Panthro, regret, regrettably, but going forward, I have ordered all of them. Uh, they, they look good. I, I, I don't know what else to say. There's some, there's some issues apparently with them. I'm not going to get into that, but too much, but I guess there's some, some pain issues with, with Panthro's underwear, but, uh, Super 7 is kind enough to be sending, sending the, uh, the replacements for that. But I like them. I like these new additional aggressive heads they came with. Those are pretty cool. I'm a big fan. I, like I said, going forward, I will have plenty of these in stock. But for the first run, I ordered these when I first opened the shop. I wasn't sure how invested I would be. And uh, I'm invested. Let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got some new Mythic Legions there. Cool, cool. Um, oh, I went through a huge collection of... Um, the Marvel Universe 3 and 3 4 inch figures by Hasbro, and I'm sorted through and priced them all. I mean, there's a ton here. Like, this isn't just all of them. Here's some, and I know, again, it's going to be frustrating because people want me to go through each and every one of them to show you. But, uh, hey, if you're in Michigan or nearby, come take a look. Like, there really is, like, some deep cuts in there. Like, this line, uh, I know most people are into the 6-inch scale. But this uh, four inch or three and three fourth inch, one eighteen scale, however you want to call, they really went deep. There's some uh, pretty, pretty interesting obscure characters. Let's see. I mean, I mean, if you make Dark Hawk, you know you're in it to win it. Dark Hawk. I liked him. Uh, Scarlet Spider. But anyways, there's some uh, like really, really tough ones to get in there. And like I said, there's a good like four to five trays of these things. So come take a look. I I haven't found a spot for them, but. They're sitting here on the chairs. You can come over and take a look. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, there's a couple other things I did get. Let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got, in addition to those uh, four-inch Marvel Universe figures, I got a ton of the DC Universe Classics figures in. And I mean a ton of them. And I'm going to go on record and say that uh, these are the best. Minus Superpower. Superpowers is the best. But this is the most extensive line of dc superhero characters they've ever made superpowers will always have my heart uh nothing can compete with those excellent 35 36 figures but these are pretty pretty good and also they did do quite a few deep cuts um but i have a lot of them available here it's really tough for me to want to sell these because it was almost an instant collection and i'd love to just box them up put them in my basement and then uh, set them up on on shelves in my basement but i can't do that so come take a look at them find some some good ones and uh take them off my hands so i don't have to uh look at them all day and want to take them home all right keeping this one short again i just got a i got a lot more in i just can't think of Think of them, they, they, things come in every day, uh, but come on in, take a look around, and uh, I'm sure you'll find something that you like, and if not, I've not done my job. As always, Nerd Out is located at 8106 West Nine Mile Road in Oak Park, Michigan, always buying, selling, and trading, and uh, coming up to one year anniversary, hopefully we'll have some big news to announce for that, and until next time, Nerd Out.